بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ٹوڈیز لیب از ٹو کلاسیفائی این ایمیج وی ول بیسیکلی لرن دی ایمیج کلاسیفیکیشن ناؤ فرسٹ آف آل وی ول سی ڈیٹ وٹ از بیسیکلی این ایمیج کلاسیفیکیشن وٹ آر ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف ایمیج کلاسیفیکیشن دین وی ول پرفارم سپروائز کلاسیفیکیشن وی ول سی وٹ اسٹیپس دی آر انوالو ان پرفارمنگ دی سپروائز کلاسیفیکیشن اینڈ دین وی ول فائنلی کنکلوڈ اوور لیب رائٹ so uh, the first thing that what is basically an image classification as we all know that as the satellite data it became common and a user can uh, go to different website like earth explorer and he can download different uh, images of different spatial resolution landsat data or other options which were uh, are available there so once you have a satellite image uh, it Compi- comprised of different bands now uh, we have learned in our uh, intro to rs or basic remote sensing course that how to stack imagery once we have stacked the imagery uh, then we will perform uh, image classification on that stacked imagery right so image classification is very simple that if you group the pixels and assign each group a specific name assign each group a specific class so that is your image classification for example i have a satellite image and the values that are digital number values or dn values uh, which are recorded they range from 0 to 255 now i will make different classes for example i will make that from 0 to 50 there will be uh, water class 50 to 100 there will be vegetation class 100 to 150 there will be and some other class so this is basically a mechanism through which we uh, classify an image now image classification is simply defined as sorting of pixels into finite number of individual classes or categories of data based on their data file values right so if a pixel satisfies a certain set of criteria then that pixel is assigned to the class right so it is basically uh, there are two types one is supervised classification and other one is unsupervised classification now what is the difference between them now if we have in an image dn values from 0 to 50 right and uh, we want to classify them as water right so one method is to take signature is to take samples of water for example i take a sample of water that has a dn value of uh, between 0 and 10 and then i take another water sample that is a value between 0 and 20 then i take another one that is value between 10 and 30 so these three samples they are basically supervised or trained by the user right so this type of classification in which a user takes samples that is termed as supervised classification <clears throat> and the other method that is uh, simple to uh, classifying a data statistical data that uh, you define some intervals right for example from 0 to 50 class number 1 50 200 class 2 100 to 150 class 3 150 to 200 class 4 and then later on after the result you see that 0 to 50 which class is in majority and you assign that okay this class belongs to water so this is unsupervised classification and the third type of classification is object based classification which we will be learning in uh, further labs right so and this is a basic introduction of uh, classification now uh, we will uh, perform this classification by using this methodology we will open the edas image and we will uh, in- input our study area image then we will use signature editor then we will be taking appropriate signatures and then we will be performing supervised classification and at the end we will have a classified image right and then we can evaluate this classified image in arc map so this will be our methodology for today as a first step what you have to do is to start edas image uh, browse to the folder where edas is installed i have this one you have to click this once you click this a window will be open right the next step is to add your data i will open my data open raster layer for example my <coughs> data is study area image so in this lab i will be using a high resolution uh, satellite image and i will be performing my classification on a high resolution satellite image you can click fit layer to window right 
okay once you click fit layer to window uh, this image is displayed here you can change the uh, band combinations from three i have changed it to three to one you can change it of your choice right in which the area is visible now once your image has been uh, incorporated in erdas environment there is no pre-processing need so we will be moving on towards classification right so in that step what we have to do is to take the signature editor and uh, we will uh, be taking signatures right if you want to un perform unsupervised classification that is very easy you just have to go to raster tab you have to click on unsupervised right you have to input our study area image you have to output your study area image for example i will name it as unsupervised image you have to click ok and specify the number of classes and you can assign the algorithm one is k mean and the second one is iso data you may have covered what k means does and what iso data does right these are two algorithms to calculate your classes for example i have 36 classes over here and i just for the time being use these default values and click ok so my image will be uh, unsupervised classification will be executed right this is a simple mechanism to uh, calculate uh, to perform unsupervised classification now we are interested in today's lab is to perform supervised classification right so in order to perform supervised classification we will uh, be taking signatures or samples and then we will classify our image based on those samples okay once we have performed uh, unsupervised classification we can view the classification result from uh, recent so this is my unsupervised classification right so uh, there are 36 classes they are defined here we can change the color but in today's lab we will be focusing more on supervised classification right and uh, we will be understanding that so i will remove this now uh, we have our study area image open now the next step what we have to do is <clears throat> we have to uh, go to the raster right and in the raster we will select supervise and then we will select the signature editor right so in this edar section go to raster in raster we will uh, select supervise and in supervise we will select signature editor right so we will be clicking the signature editor now what is signature editor signature editor is basically a tool which allows you to take signatures or samples of any uh, feature right so this is the interface of signature editor window now what we have to do is to take samples right of different classes now we have to go to the drawing tab and draw a polygon right we have to here we have this now go to the drawing tab here you can see the drawing tab with multispectral just click on the drawing tab okay once you click on the drawing tab there will be an option to draw the polygon i will select this option now the first sample i want to select is of buildings so you will zoom to the building and select a sample now the best method to take a sample is to avoid mixing sample should be pure right i will take another sample right now i will be taking another one from different location let's take another one from different location now these are our houses right so we can right now once you uh, selected this sample you can just zoom out and press shift and select all the samples which you have just created right by pressing shift you will open the signature editor once the samples are selected uh, you will open the signature editor and i have to wait for a minute 
so that this window is visualized okay this is our signature editor right uh, it has different option file uh, save as and it have edit option evaluate option feature creation option now what we have to do is to uh, create samples or signatures and then use this button to add these signature and we will be using this button for signature merging right so these two buttons must be kept in mind this one to add and this one to merge right that will be used in the next okay <clears throat> once we uh, select press the shift button we selected all the sample we, for a, a residential area we have selected and we clicked on this button to add this right now the next step is to merge these four into single right so we will be using this to merge and now we will delete this selection now i will rename it as residential r e s e d n residential unit now in this way what you have to do is to take various samples of uh, water of vegetation of parking lots of buildings and uh, uh, of other features right so three to four samples we will we will be taking for each and then we will uh, use this plus sign to add in individually of each merge these three to four samples into one rename it as residential unit water or so other so this process is going to complete and then we will be moving on right now go to the drawing toolbar again and for example i have uh, this sample of road right so i will be selecting a road sample over here now i will be taking a road sample of uh, over here i have taken two now i can take this one as well a road sample of over here right a road sample over here now let's take some other road sample okay a road sample over here so this is also a road but it has spectral response different to the other road so we have uh, selected these sample now we will be pressing the shift button and selecting all these sample one by one so i have here 1 2 3 and 5 samples no now i will be opening this and click on this add button these five samples will be added i will select them i will merge them and delete this option and rename it as roads now you have to repeat this process by yourself and you have to uh, include as many classes as you want and you have to take samples and uh, try to incorporate uh, as many classes as you like right once we have our signatures ready then we will move on towards classification Okay, once we uh, take enough signatures like uh, you can see in the screen that i have took signature of barren land industry units shadow water marshy areas parking lots football ground high rise building shopping plaza and you can see that i have taken multiple uh, signatures of each feature right okay once we have the signature file created we will click on file we will click on save as and we will save this signature file into our directory wherever we want to save it we will uh, rename it as our signature file and we will save it once this signature file is saved the next step what we have to do is we have to go to raster and we have to click the supervise tab in supervise tab we will click supervise classification now here we will input our study area and we will input our signature file which we have created just now right so i will browse to my image and i will browse to recent and see where my signature file is here it is now i will output my classified uh, image 
into my folder where I want to save it. For example, let's name it as supervised image. Once we are done with this, we will click it OK. Now here we have different rules, right? If you can see that here parallel piped and feature space. These are two different rules and for, uh, we have four different types of five different types of algorithm. One is maximum likelihood, minimum distance, spectral angle mapper and other. So these are different algorithm which need a separate section to explain each of them individually that how it operates. Once all of this process is completed, we will click OK. Now our supervised image classification has begun and uh, in the meantime, we will see that uh, what output this uh, classification classified image shows us. Okay, the process has been completed. Now I will open my raster layer. I will browse to recent and here it is supervised image. I will click this supervised image. Now here, here I will remove the extra layers now and will just focus on this image, supervised image. So here you can see that my buildings, they are classified, water bodies, marshy areas, all of these are classified. If you right click and click on display attribute table, you will have all of these uh, classes here and you can change the color combination as well. Now uh, till here we are done with image classification. We have learned how to perform image classification and what is the difference between supervised and unsupervised classification and uh, what output as a result you get after classifying your image. Okay, we finally conclude that when we performed uh, supervised classification uh, on a high resolution data set, although that classification is very good, accurate, visually it is appealing, but uh, there are a lot of uh, spectrally similar classes, right, which are mixed. For example, you can see that buildings, they are mixed with shadows. Similarly, you can see that roads, they are mixed with vegetation. So uh, we conclude that this type uh, supervised classification when it is performed on a high resolution data it produces non-homogeneous classes due to internal class spectral variability because of the reason that the, uh, our data was high resolution data right so uh, it is uh, more preferable if you have a high resolution data set you must uh, obtain uh, you must go for object based classification instead of supervised or unsupervised classification. In case of low resolution data, uh, the results they are uh, to some extent good than uh, high resolution data set. Okay, once we have performed our classification and we have seen that <clears throat> what is the effect of performing the classification on a high resolution data set. Now uh, let's use a visualization tool. I have opened this classified imagery and below uh, beneath that imagery is my study area image right which we use to classify. Now here you can see that we have a swipe tool. Now this tool <coughs> is used to compare two images right at the same time. So you can see that this tool is visually comparing the two images right. Now <coughs> if I just stop this animation and I can move on by holding this window. Now you can see that shadows, they are in yellow colors. These are the building tops. They are correctly classified. So there is a very good uh, classification that uh, has, as a result we have got. But still, you can see that here we have a barren land that is and vegetation. These two classes are mixing. And here similarly in road, some other barren land that is mixing a lot. So uh, it is good, but to improve it and to achieve an accuracy more than 95%. So we must go for uh, object based classification, right? So that's all for today's lab. Thank you.